God is just. God cannot overlook sin. Some people say, why can't God just simply say, well, I'm just going to forget what you've done and just receive everyone into heaven. Well, God can't do that because he's just, because he's holy, because he loves righteousness, because the sins that have been committed have been committed against him, and he is infinitely holy, and he is infinitely angered by that sin, and there is nothing he can do about that because of his nature, because he loves righteousness. He can't change from that to something he is not. And so if God is going to receive us to himself, he has to do something about the sin problem. And that's exactly what he does by sending his son into the world. In order to let someone into heaven, that person has to be perfect. That person has to have done everything right and nothing wrong. But we don't fall into that category. We haven't done that. We've done everything wrong. We've done nothing right. God cannot let us in on the basis of what we've done. So if he is to receive us into heaven, he has to do something to make it possible. And that's exactly what he did by sending his son into the world to stand in the place of his people as far as the obedience to obey God perfectly, to die on the cross for his people, to discharge their sins. That was the only way that God could have done it, and he was the only one who could have done it. If salvation is going to come, it has to be by grace. There is no other way. God has to do it or it can't be done. 